Well, it's Sunday and we are still on baby watch. Miss Lemon's in her house right now enjoying a nice cool morning. I say it's cool, it's probably in the in the low 80s right now, maybe upper 70s, but we've got a breeze blowing and I'm about to water some critters and man, we're just standing by to, for her to have these babies. Now, we were getting milk out of her yesterday so it should be any time. Uh, I really expect her to Pharaoh last night and we'd come out this morning and see, uh, you know, see what the outcome was. But I guess she's gonna wait. You know, they'll do it when they're ready. Mother nature is, uh, is fun that way. We don't know what's going on with this pig. I shouldn't say that. We know she's pregnant. We know she's gonna Pharaoh. So if she would have took uh, the first time we saw her bread, she would have already farrowed. She's eating, she's not eating, she's showing like she's got contractions. Her tail is up today, which is a sign. But like I said, she's going to be a third time mom. She could make up her mind that she's ready to farrow and 20 minutes later she's done and back out here eating. The stuff that keeps farming fun and interesting. I mean, I don't anticipate any problems. Yeah, I mean, she looks good. Her belly's down. And I definitely feel piglets in there. There's no denying that. If I had to put a weight on her right now, I bet she's she's probably 240. She's a pretty good sized pig, pretty broad across the back. She got a lot of fat in her jowls there. Good waddles on her. Got a good straight back. So. I mean, is she the prettiest Cooney Cooney you'll ever see? I, I guess that's subjective, but I think she's a pretty pig. Sunday, August the 4th, 2024. We were off the farm pretty much all day yesterday. So I'm gonna walk out here and check animals and see how everybody's looking this morning. We did get a good storm move through yesterday afternoon which is all goodness. We definitely need the rain. And here's Lemon. Still piglet free as you can tell. She is uh, She had us fooled. Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. I know it's been a, a little bit. We'll give you all a quick update on a couple things. The geese say good morning. So here's Lemon Girl. I guess here's the first big update. Now Lemon Girl was supposed to farrow uh, several weeks ago. Now I went back and looked at my notes that I took on her the last time she farrowed. She, uh, she went into labor and then she just stopped. Uh, four or five days later, she farrowed her litter in about 30 minutes, and uh, and that was it. So we thought we had her in labor, and then she just quit. Now, I could feel the piglets in her stomach. Like, I was touching one of them's fat. I was like, oh, there's a snout right there. That's freaking crazy. Like alien and stuff. And she never farrowed. So uh, my best guess is she just aborted the litter. We have talked to a vet. I mean, she's dried up now. She's back to, you know, like, like nothing ever happened. I mean, her milk line came in. She was lactating. Piglets are gonna go. Uh, we talked to a vet. She's not in any kind of distress. She's not in any kind of discomfort. She's not acting strange. She's doing everything a pig's supposed to be doing as far as eating and drinking and going to the bathroom, the whole nine yards. You know, the vet said, and these are not small animal vets, these are these are vets that are used to dealing with pigs and, and horses and cattle, and so uh, that sometimes a sow will just reabsorb her litter. Now, she also could have farrowed. Uh, we know we had the hurricane come through, the tropical storm during that time, and she could have ate every bit of it. I mean, that's where we're at. She's not gonna farrow at this point. She's way past any kind of due date when she was last even exposed to the to the boar. So that's the, the goings on for today. And I mean, that's really all, all that's been happening around here. Uh, you know, just trying to keep things 
uh, up and running. I definitely need to do some maintenance around my hot wires just to keep the, the weeds off of them. Uh, everybody's looking good though. I mean, all the pigs look fine. Uh, cows look good. It's beautiful out right now. I mean, there's a nice breeze. It's got to be in the low 70s. So we're going to get her moved out of this pen. I may just put her over here with Romeo and Juliet and uh, Harry Styles and and because she is one that likes to get out and will be, you know, several farms over eating their cornfields and all that stuff. So I may just put her over here and uh, and let her ride it out for now. But we are looking to, to get rid of some pigs. Uh, and I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of pigs. Like I said, we have a fall fencing project coming up. The fewer animals I have to deal with while all that's going on, I think the better it's going to be. Uh, and I can always make more pigs. Regardless of what happened with Lemon Girl here, uh, we've been pretty successful on, uh, on our breeding and farrowing, even though the last, it seems like the last two years, we've done very little farrowing. And another thing I got to do today is I'm trying to, to mow out in the pasture because where we had all the trees taken down, especially where there was any sumac, the suckers are, are just blowing up out there. And there are saplings that are, are getting pretty good size. And I just want to go through and knock those down to, uh, you know, to try to prohibit growth of those things, even though it's very, very difficult. Talk about a bush or weed or whatever that wants to live. So uh, busted the wheel on my cutter. I'll show you all that here in a bit when I have to get around to try to take that off because I need to get that fixed so I can finish mowing. You have this little hub. And it just all broke off in there. And it looks like it, I snapped off my grease zerk. So all that should get replaced. But I just gotta get the, the bolts out and get this one out and take all that off and get the part. What a mess, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to replace this whole thing. that freaking Chineseium for you. Here's a look at that wheel again. I mean, that is just some ugly stuff. Considering the rust, I wonder how long that's been busted. Anyway, I think if I just take this one bolt out for now, I'll be good. It's been a long day. I'm old. I'm tired. I got about half the tools I used to have. We're gonna see if we can't make something work here. Wow. We ain't even gonna talk about how loose that was. That's what she said. Come on now. Well, it don't look like it messed this up at all. It's a little sloppy sounding. But, all right, let me pick this stuff up and we'll get a look at it. All right, I do like these wheels these days because they ain't, you know, nothing but a bunch of recycled shit, it looks like. Yeah, it jacked that thing up. It looks like this is bent. I might have, really don't want to buy the whole dang hub. I really do not want to buy the whole freaking hub. I should be able to bend this back enough that I can get that to sit somewhat flush. But I guess the kicker is going to be what this piece is going to cost me. I have to get my manual and get a part number. Anyway. So that's a problem for future John. 
I'll look at that later on here. I guess with that, folks, uh, we'll keep this video short this week. The big thing is lemon didn't farrow. Lemon's not going to farrow. Uh, we're just going to continue to monitor. Y'all be good. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, you know, it's Labor Day. Hopefully everybody got out and did something cool. Uh, you know, obviously we did here. And uh, we'll catch y'all next time. See ya.